Welcome to the fourth episode of Solvent Burke's Kids. I am your host, Kayla, and today we are going to be speaking with a board-certified music therapist, Marissa Allenbach. Welcome, Marissa. Thank you for being here today. Hi, kids. My name is Marissa Allenbach, and I am a board-certified music therapist. I currently work at a children's hospital at Penn State Health. Board certified. It sounds important, so let's talk about what that means. Board certified means that a professional sat down and took a test that made sure that they were qualified to do the job that they were doing. Qualified means that they have enough education, skills, and training to do that job. What is music therapy? So for music therapy, specifically working with children in a hospital, I get to use music to help them work on whatever they need. But the first thing I focus on is making sure that kids' pain starts to feel better. Because if you're in pain, it's really hard to do anything. So after I help with the pain, then we can do other things with the music like working on moving those muscles again, or standing up and playing, sometimes even getting to invite your parents, your grandparents, your siblings, brothers and sisters to play music with you. Why does music therapy work? The whole bunch of people have worked on doing research to figure out what makes music therapy work best. And this is called evidence-based research. So I find different research that people have written and apply that or use it in my sessions with kids. One of the things that helps kids to feel better and take away pain in the hospital is by using quiet, calming music. So the research or the science shows us that when you use calm, quiet, repetitive music, that this can help you to breathe slower, it can help your muscles to relax, and it can even help you fall asleep sometimes. So what I'm going to show you next is an example of what we could do to help when people are in pain. So sometimes I start with something called sedative guitar. And this can help you to breathe slower, stay nice and calm, let your heartbeat slow down a little bit, and fill your body with oxygen. Sometimes the kids want a favorite song with the sedative guitar. So maybe their favorite song is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How brainstorm break. I want you to look around your classroom and your house for anything that can make music. Pause this video while you go on your search. What did you find? Ask your teacher to share your musical findings with me at kallenbach at albright.edu. And now I'll show you what Marissa and I found. Pens we can shake or we can tap them together. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I can make a sound with it. 
if you hold it between your fingers and blow through it, you can make a funny sound. Sometimes it takes a few tries and a thick piece of grass. just a few. When I'm working with the kids in the hospital, they get to choose what instrument they want to play. So I have little tiny maracas and even bigger maracas for the big kids. This is called a kibasa, and you can either rub the beads across or you can shake it. This is one of my favorites. It's a castanet, but it looks like a duck. So we can use this for different kids' songs. Quack, 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 quack. Like, five little ducks went out to play. Whittle, waddle, whittle, waddle all the way. This is a drum, but it looks like a lollipop. This is the sound the lollipop drum makes way up high or quiet in the middle. You get to choose. Can you share with us what a hospital experience with a music therapist might be like? So I'm gonna share a song that some kids in the hospital might want to dance and move to with whatever instruments or things you found at home. Grab those and Feel free to join in. Come on in, Kayla. We're gonna make music here today. We're gonna make music here today. We're gonna make music here today. Make your music in the hospital. Can you shake your arms way up high with your instruments? We're gonna shake our hands way up high, way up high to the sky. We're gonna shake our hands. Way up high, way up high to the sky. I hope that you're able to go and make some fun music of your own. It is now time for our musical activity. I want you to use the music objects you found around your house to create a musical experience with your family or your friends or a classmate. Share those musical experiences with your classmates and have your teachers send them to me at kallenbach at albright.edu so that you and your class can be featured on our Facebook page. I can't wait to see all of the musical experiences that you come up with. Don't forget, it doesn't matter how old you are. You are never too young to have an idea that can change the world. Believe in yourself, because I believe in you. That's all for now. See you next time on Solve It Burke's Kids.